So my goal today is to eliminate this tank and add on a separate, larger capacity fuel tank. Hello my good friends, it's Buck Weezer. And welcome to another video with Buck Small Engine DIY on YouTube. We put the do in a do-it-yourself and I got a crazy little project here today featuring the DR Power Wagon utility cart. I've talked to you about this in the past work we've done on it and I have to tell you very honestly that of all the power equipment and pieces of machinery that I have, this one sees the most use. I just use it for so many things. But my biggest complaint at this point in the state, and at this stage in the game, is that the gas tank's too small. You know, this is a mo uh, an engine off a lawnmower. And of course, the gas tank's right here, you know? But it, it, it just runs out of fuel so often. There's some in there. And it just doesn't hold very much. Now, I think it's using more gas hauling this around with me riding in the back on the sulky, probably than it used when it was on top of a lawnmower. And then when I go to fill it up, you know what in inevitably happens? I spill it. I overfill it and it, it spills all over the place and I feel like a moron. It's just because the tank's so small. So my goal today is to eliminate this tank and add on a separate, larger capacity fuel tank. And let me show you what I have in mind. Because I have one right here that I picked off of, I think it was an old Mary lawnmower. And I have not cleaned it up. Wow, look at this guy. He is dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Uh, and I want to devise a way where I can <coughs> mount it. Maybe like right there. It's a gravity-fed fuel system. Just have it have a little bit higher than the engine, which shouldn't be a problem. I had to come up with some kind of bracket so we can, you know, mount this tank somewhere like that. So I guess why I need to start by uh, cleaning this guy off, and then we'll uh, we'll see about mounting it. So sort of a silly little project today, but I think it's going to be a good one. So here on the bench is the fuel tank we're going to use. Cleaned up really nice inside and out. So he's good to go. And I have a series of items here on a workbench. Some hardware, clamps, fuel line clamps, some new fuel line, inline fuel shutoff, fuel filter, and uh, this crazy little guy. I spent a bunch of time making this. This is going to be the shelf to hold our gas tank. And uh, I spent way too much time on it. Measuring, cutting, drilling, painting. <laughs> but as my wife says, projects like this are what make life fun. So I'm just going to go right up in here. And our gas tank's going to sit right there. What do you think? All right. So that's the plan, and now to execute it. So now I'm going to take a bench grinder and cut this guy off, and we're going to mount our shelf. Alright, so it's going to go in there like that. And I've drilled one hole there, one hole there, one up there, and one on this side. And we're going to use some self-tapping screws to fasten this tray to the uh, dump cart assembly. So I've got the tray held in place with the clamp. And I'm going to try to Secure it with the uh, self-tapping screw. Oh!
right. And there it is. It feels pretty sturdy. Indeed it does, I like that. It's pretty good. All right, so here's the tank. That hole for the fuel outlet. I'm gonna sit in there like that. Now the only thing that's a little bit questionable is accessing the filler cap, but I think it's a little tight right here, but I think we'll be okay. Stick your funnel in there, you'll be all right. I think that's okay. And then, over on this side, uh, down low, we've got one, two screw holes here, and we'll put some screws through there to screw the tank down right there, like that. And then <coughs> on this side, kind of a similar arrangement using this wood block. I'll screw this wood block to the tank here and then I'll screw the wood block down right there so it'll be bolted in. All right so I want to connect a piece of fuel line with a clamp then our fuel shut off valve and our fuel filter and then we'll take it from there down to the carburetor. I just got this fuel line I bought it in bulk. It's Oregon so kind of an aftermarket Oregon 07-016. It's one quarter by seven sixteenths. So quarter inch is about right, although it's not going to fit too easily on this outlet nipple. I'm probably just going to get the heat gun and heat this up. Then we can get that on there. And see if this is going to work for us. Stiff hose, plus it's cold out here. Let's try that. Oh yeah, now that was the way to do it. Can't quite get that clamp on it. I'll have to try one of these set screw clamps, that might work better. So we can cut this here. We can remove this. And we're going to go with this clamp right there. Slotted screwdriver. That's better. Okay, good. All right, hose goes through. Tank sits there in place. Can't quite get my screwdriver in there. I have to get a short one. Stubby Phillips. So that side secured down. All right. Now our tanks in place. That feels pretty good. Yeah. All right, so let's say take down the uh, air cleaner. Nice clean air filter. I'll take this down also, and then we'll be able to see the carburetor a little better. It's like one, two, three. 
8 mil or 5 16 Alright, so now I gotta undo the clamp on the uh, fuel line and I uh, got a can here. We're gonna drain the fuel that's still in the tank. Not that much in here, but we'll drain it and then we'll come back. All right, so let's remove this piece of fuel line that went from the tank to the carburetor. And I'm just gonna put this little cap over it. And now we gotta take a piece of fuel line our new stuff connected to the carburetor here and then to our fuel line here got to keep it out of the way of the uh, air cover plate and let's see if this will go on without too much trouble Won't fit it. Let's try to go back to this guy. All right, so that means coming out here like this, connect here to this guy like this. So right about there should do it for us. And then I can use that clamp right there. I think that's good. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, not bad. And the clamp goes on. That's it. All right. Now, now we're going to put the air cleaner back up and uh, add some fuel, and we'll be ready to test this guy out.
everything looks good. New fuel line, fuel filter, shut off valve, fuel tank, bracket. We're back in business. Boy, it's gonna be a lot nicer. There we go. That's it guys, the project's done. Just a little simple DIY fuel tank upgrade on the DR Power Wagon dump cart. Happy with how it turned out. And I'm ready to get back to work. It's a great little machine. And now it's even better with a new fuel tank. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments and questions in the discussion below. I always enjoy that. And uh, I want to thank you as always for watching my video and I look forward to seeing you next time on our next project. See what that's going to be. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If I can. Ugh! Stupid. Oh well.